Next node is break generator. The inputs are the same. Uh, first input is hair curves. Second input is skin. And third input is reference geometry. Yeah, and we have generated braid. What parameters does it have? Uh, first is braid profile shape. Uh, here we have four shapes. Uh, three shapes is predefined, and fourth is custom shape. Well, first one is line. It's just two point line. Next is rectangle. Small rectangle with beveled corners. Uh, braid profile consists of three arcs, which is overlapping to create more natural looking braid. So, and fourth is custom shape. We can add like circle. It should be polygon circle. Whatever, five. And it should be open arc circle. And just put it here. Yeah, and it should be rotated by 90, 90 degrees by x or minus 90. Yeah, like that. But I will show with braid profile. And um, braid profile has special options, braid shape divisions. These divisions will divide each arc and you will get more dense and more rounded geometry. Default is three points. Braid shape scale. This is just uniform scale for shape. A number of ribbons. Well, the ribbon is one of these three curves, which is uh, curved with sine wave function. Okay, we have. Uh, by default three here but we can use two or even one just one okay next normal and up smooth this is just like in haircuts smoothing normals and up vector at each point of curve normal and up smooth filter quality yeah, less value is uh, lower quality of smoothing. Segment length is uh, length of each segment. Lower value will generate more geometry, but it will be more nice looking. Okay, I will leave it point one. Max segments is a limit for maximum segments uh, per inch guide curve. Okay, reverse normals is uh, useful when you have a custom profile and it generates reversed normals geo. Next is ramp parameters. Thickness ramp and thickness range. Well, thickness is how thick is one curve profile. So for example 0.5 will make more, more thick and more natural braid. Yeah. This is more visible. That's it color. Okay. Next, this is ramp, which can be used to define whether it should be more thick or less thick along the length of these uh, curves. And here we have more thickened end here. 
next one is width range and width ramp width is uh, total width of all three guide curves and it's not connected with thickness so you can have these holes in between if you increase this value at maximum width range and again it can be manipulated and controlled at each point of along the length of the curve okay next parameter is height range the same as width but it controls height let's say 2 or is it 5 you will have this weird sine wave amplitude one is okay okay next one is twist yeah, I need to show with texture twist will turn the profile around its guide curve so it's not twist overall of the braid and it will be seen with texture it create more natural effect of hair twisting while it's curved in in the braid okay next parameter is density so density is is the frequency of a sine wave function for example if you want to increase density here like that or decrease it make it lower increase here and decrease there that's why we need density and another thing about density is this end of the braid is uh, naturally is not curved to make it straight I would I would use this density parameter and also we should control width here just decreased that's it and let's create more natural looking braid I will copy this node guide groom node and I will delete this one and I will add another one here yeah like that this one I don't need I need only, only one here so for example we want to add long braid here what should we do we need to well make it straight and make it long but here we have problem we don't have reference geo for orientation and it breaks here as you can see so we need to add reference geo if you have body uh, geometry you can add body ge geometry but if you don't, if we don't have body geometry we can add just uh, metaballs that should do or just merge it merge this two create VDB then combine convert and add normals so and we can add some smooth VDB smooth before convert okay now we have our problem fixed we add some thickness 0.8 may be good and I will decrease uh, width here I don't like it 
so and I will increase density here just remove this point okay and we can uh, increase segment length to reduce the polygon count that's okay good looking for me well and we can add more braids like that or we can cut them braid generated geo is also working with hair cards auto uv and we can adjust it that's it thanks for watching and bye